So if you want more, do you play like that? What do you use more? More of what? What makes more sound? The bow. <laughs> ah, yeah, you see it all. There's no sound. You see, I have a terrific vibrato. There's no sound. You see? That is 90% of the violinist. This is only 10%, very important 10%. But it's not more than 10%. This is 90%. OK, so if you want more, move it. Also, when you move the bow, see, when you play like this, you choke the sound. The sound doesn't have the same resonance. You understand? When you play, the sound has much more resonance. And remember, you're not going to play in this little hall. Practice to play for 3,000 people, even if you play for 200. But practice thinking that you're going to have to play for 3,000 people. And that guy that is sitting all the way up there, you know, he pays less, but for him it means a lot. It's a lot of money what he pays. And he comes to really hear you. Play for him. OK? All right? Try that. Wilderness. That's it. This is it. Move. Move the ball. Right. Now here, you could, yeah, that's much better. You're much, yes, I want to pay now to hear you. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to need subtitles to hear you, you know. But, uh, now this. There are many points here that you must use. Look. See? This is, cam is a canvas. Don't just pay in one, don't paint just in one part of the canvas. Sometimes use other parts of the canvas, you see? This is a brush full of paint. Paint. You know something? If you're in, a, this is something that I always say, because I see that a lot. If you're in a concert and you have to make a quick adjustment, and you do, the, the string will go up. Okay. For a quick adjustment, that's very good. But the problem with that is that the string comes down very quickly. <laughs> you see, so I prefer you tune it. Yeah. Listen to him. You get inspired by what he does. Yeah, now don't you see, yeah, if you make it, you see, it's very, you know, you have a lovely vibrato. The problem is that it's singularly lovely. It must be plural, vibrati, not vibrato. You see, like you make a diminuendo here, you make a crescendo, and you do good, okay? Now you do and you vibrate the same way. It's a diminuendo. <laughs> die a little bit. If, if this dies a little bit, die with this a little bit too. Otherwise, it's just, it's very instrumental what you do. It's not emotional. You have a lovely vibrato. I mean, it's beautiful. But don't use it instrumentally, use it emotionally. Okay? Oh. Now more, now less. No, no, less. 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 Nothing. That's it. That. 
ah, ah, that's it. You understand? Vibrati, not vibrato. Okay, tamporari rararam. Okay, I want you to play this phrase. And I don't want you to play the small notes, the eighth notes. Just no the small notes. notes. Just play the phrase, but no small notes. I want you to understand what makes this phrase move and beautiful. OK? <laughs> Okay, good. Are you missing something? You miss it, don't you? Yeah, so play it as if you missed it. See, you, you swallow it, you know, like a spaghetti. You swallow it. You play like that. You know? is the hugging note. See, that's the note that hugs. You understand that? Okay? Now with the piano, more. No, I hear, I hear a diminuendo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, where is the crescendo? Yeah, see, the point, are you playing with, you're playing with the music, right? You're looking at the music, but you don't read the music. Actually, you know, this, you know, when a great composer like Brahms or any composer like that puts something down, a crescendo, a diminuendo, you know, everything that he puts down, it's like his last testament. He's not joking about this. He really wants you to take him seriously. Now, it's true that you have to interpret then. Because in, in recreating, you have to be creative. You understand? However, a crescendo must be there. Now, then you can say, do I, how much crescendo do I want? But I have to hear that the sound goes up. It must come up. Otherwise, you dreamed you made a crescendo. You see, you playing for 96% of an audience that doesn't know there is a crescendo there. And you must tell those 96%, look, the sound goes up here. You have to reveal this creation to them. You understand? Uh, 